welcome back to the channel everybody it's super saint paul here back at it again today we're going to be talking about dragon ball super episode 128 and the possibilities of the realm of what this episode could have brought to the table in the finale episodes of dragon ball super so guys just be aware that we're about to dive into some Dragon Ball Super spoilers for the ending all the way up to basically episode 131 with our thoughts and predictions as to what we already know and what's going on. So make sure you guys smash that like button, turn on notifications, and subscribe for more. Comment down below with your thoughts and opinions as to what's going to happen. If you guys don't want to be spoiled, make sure you guys click off the video right now because we're about to dive headfirst into this. So at the time of this recording, tomorrow is Dragon Ball Super episode 128. And what we know is that the title is basically given away with Noble Pride, Vegeta Falls. And we've seen a preview with Dragon Ball Super episode 127 with Vegeta having his, his armor ripped up and everything and he's going to be taking on Jiren. And with the spoilers for the other titles, all the way up to episode 130, Goku's going to be mastering Ultra Instinct in episode 129. So what this means is that this is probably definite confirmation that Vegeta's going to get eliminated because... If he is, this is going to push Goku with his back against the wall, and this is what's probably going to be setting up the stage for Goku to master Ultra Instinct in that following episode. Now, what this means is that with Vegeta being ringed out, because in the previous episode, Dragon Ball Super episode 126, Topo versus Vegeta in his ultimate Super Saiyan Blue form, which still has no confirmation on the official name, Vegeta used up every single attack that he possibly could have used. He used Final Flash in this tournament, he used Final Explosion in this tournament, and every little bit of energy has been drained from him. And in episode 127, Android 17 was protecting them while they had literal to no energy already, so there's not much Vegeta could bring to the table. Now, the only, only scenario that I could see here coming out of the blue is if Vegeta unlocks Ultra Instinct. Now. That is a very far-fetched thing at this point. I know a lot of people were suspecting that maybe Vegeta would unlock it in this tournament as well. And there is that slight chance, ever so slight chance, because Dragon Ball Super is ending, that they could shoot that in here. Because if you guys don't know, a lot of this stuff has been rushed. Topo's defeat has been rushed. Jiren's character at this point in time is still rushed, unless they find some way to squeeze in a lot more character development. Because Jiren right now is very underwhelming in terms of backstory. That is an opinion for me. Please don't jump on me for that. But a lot of people... A lot of people agree with that, and with Ultra Instinct, Vegeta, like, possibly showing up, that could make all of these little what-if theories come to fruition with the attack or mastering of it, but I honestly, honestly don't see that. I see, in this episode, Vegeta getting eliminated, beaten down badly, and this is going to have Goku and Frieza being the last two in the ring to fa face Jiren. Now, they spoke very little about Frieza being in the ring during these few episode leaks. Like, Frieza has been mentioned little to none. And we did see him in episode 127, and we saw how he got destroyed by Jiren. So, Frieza has no value whatsoever in terms of direct confrontation with Jiren. And Vegeta, being the one to be eliminated next, is going to be very interesting to see how that's going to play into the last, ep last two episodes of anything. Because Frieza having to jump in with Goku... To take on Jiren when Frieza really can't do anything much against Jiren is going to be very, very critical to the story. Now, with that being said, Vegeta possibly being pushed to the very edge here because he's used up every single ounce of energy he has. This could potentially... There is a slight chance of the, them reenacting what happened with Kefla versus Goku. If you guys didn't know, there was a kick that just completely knocked Goku into, like... This, this Ultra Instinct state where he had nothing left and remember he was already drained from the Battle of Jiren and stuff prior to that where when you're at your complete like pit of emptiness this is where this power is unlocked this is where everything gets unleashed and maybe we might see Jiren stomp this out immediately with the pacing in these last few episodes it's gonna be super fast paced and I don't know if people are gonna be happy about that or not in my opinion, I'm not super happy about this because if it's too fast paced, we're not getting enough time to enjoy it. We've only seen Ultra Instinct barely a handful of times. I would call a handful a little bit too much there to even say that. But with that being said, Dragon Ball Super mainly revolved around the Super Saiyan Blue form. If you guys don't believe me, look at the past 100 episodes. The past 100 episodes, especially with around episode 100... Episode 128 being this one, and episode 28, I think it was when Dragon Ball Super officially technically started because it finished the movie arcs. 
Everything revolved around Super Saiyan Blue from that point on, and everything involved some sort of combination of KO Ken plus Super Saiyan Blue, or Vegito Super Saiyan Blue, all the way up until Ultra Instinct was hyped, and even to this day, Super Saiyan Blue is still relevant because of Vegeta with this new form that matches the in-between of KO Ken, I believe, or, or an, um, an Ultra Instinct, so... With that being said, and them showing that Super Saiyan Blue has defeated someone on God of Destruction level, being Topo, does this make sense for him to unlock Ultra Instinct and flash this out there and give us a little bit more hype to this form? Or is this just going to be him getting knocked out, then they're going to move to Ultra Instinct, then after Ultra Instinct defeats Jiren, is that where the hype is just going to end for this whole form? Because we've barely seen anything of it. And the thing that this reminds me of, honestly, I want you guys to tell me which one was more hyped and which one was more built upon because Super Saiyan 3 kind of had the same type of treatment in terms of like it being not the ultimatum of the series but in that case it wasn't shown as frequently as I guess Super Saiyan. Regular Super Saiyan was used much much more. It's one of the most iconic transformations ever but in terms of this Ultra Instinct is going to show up for a couple of episodes and then that's it. He's going to master it just like that. And I feel like it would have made more sense for him to unlock it here, show Goku that there's more to this form, have Goku have his back pushed against the wall. And once Goku's back is pushed against the wall, this is where he comes in and shows Jiren what's up. And hopefully they have some more character development for this during this fight. I feel like with Vegeta already having such a small amount of energy and this episode being de dedicated to him because Frieza can't do anything we already know that Goku's really really weak right now and Vegeta is basically drained they need to spend this episode on either hyping Vegeta up to the very end because he's been one of the aces in this tournament next to 17 or hopefully unlocking a form or give us some Jiren backstory while they're fighting and giving back and forth stuff because he already did so many things against the Topo fight like in terms of like him having his little retribution for Kaba and stuff like that. I'm not sure there's much more you can do with Vegeta in this episode besides that and using it to harness Jiren's backstory. But tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you guys agree with me? Do you guys think Vegeta needs to have this episode dedicated to either potentially with that like 1% chance of him getting Ultra Instinct or do you think they should dedicate it to him and his pride and Jiren getting some character development out of this episode because there's not much he can do and Frieza can't do anything either. It's all gonna revolve around Goku. It's actually a Vegeta episode dedicated to Goku in terms of having him have his back against the wall and them unlocking the un the untold power of Ultra Instinct and I'm looking forward to this I really can't wait to see your comments on this guys make sure you guys smash that like button subscribe for more I'll be seeing you guys next time until then take care peace Dragon Ball Super episode 128 coming out tomorrow can't wait to see how this goes peace